In this video, I'll be showing you how to hopefully fix Tiny Tina's Wonderlands crashing, freezing, or not launching on your Windows computer. So there can be many different reasons to why the game is not working correctly on your computer. So that is why you're going to have to unfortunately follow every single method until one of them resolves the issue you're having. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do enjoy the video, and you want to see more videos just like this one, then click on that subscribe button. So the first thing that you need to do is ensure that Windows is up to date. So to check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then select settings. And you now need to click on update and security. And you then need to click on the check for updates button. So the methods that I am showing you, I will be doing in Windows 10. However, you can still do this in Windows 11. The steps just might be slightly different. So once you have checked and installed the latest updates for Windows, if you do have an optional quality update available, then go ahead and install that as well by clicking on download and install. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to mess up this recording. You can then go ahead and close down this window, restart your computer, and the next thing you need to do is install the latest driver for your graphics card. So if you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, selecting device manager, and then expanding display adapters. And as you can see, I have an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to download a driver for a GTX 1660 Super. So I will pop all the links in the description below to Intel, Nvidia and AMD. So go ahead and download the driver for your graphics card and install it. Once you've done that, you then need to click on the next link that's in the description below to download and install the latest version of DirectX. Once you've clicked on the link, you will end up on a page that looks like this. You need to select your language and press download, and you then need to run the setup file. You then need to press I accept if you do agree to the terms and then press next. And you can then choose if you want to install Bing Bar, I don't want to, and then press next. It will now check to see if there are any new versions of DirectX available for your computer. As you can see, I do have the latest version installed, so that's absolutely fine. I can then go ahead and press finish. So once you have done all that, go ahead and launch Tiny Tina's Wonderland and see if that resolved the issues you have been facing. The next thing that you need to do is ensure you do not have anything open when you're launching the game. So ensure that you don't have Discord open, TeamSpeak, Skype, anything like that. Just close everything down so you're only launching the game. That also includes ensuring you don't have any overlay programs open. If you are using a program to change the lights on your keyboard and mouse, then close down that program as well before launching the game. So once you've done all that, and if you're still having issues with Tiny Tina's One Lands, the next thing you need to do is try running the game as an administrator. And to do this, first you need to go to the location where you installed the game. You then need to go into the games folder, and you then need to right click on wonderlands.exe and go to properties. And you now need to select compatibility, and then you need to tick run this program as an administrator, press apply and okay. You now need to go into oak game folder, and you then need to go into binaries, and then Win64. You now need to right click again on this wonderlands.exe, go to properties, compatibility, and then run this program as an administrator, apply and okay. Now go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing you need to do is open up the documents folder, and you then need to find my games folder, and you will then see a folder called Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Go into this folder, and then go into the saved folder and you now need to go into the config folder windows no editor and you then need to find the file that says game user settings you now need to right click on this file and go to rename and you're now just going to go to the start of it and type in backup and then press enter now go ahead and launch the game and this is going to reset all of your game settings see if this helps if that didn't help, you need to keep the game open. 
Now go ahead and select options. And the first thing that you need to do is change the graphics API. So you might not be able to click on the arrow like I currently can't. However, you can use the keyboard. So press left on your keyboard and change it to DirectX 11. Now go ahead and close down the game and then open it up again and see if that resolved the issues you've been facing. If it didn't, then you can either keep it on DirectX 11 or DirectX 12. And you now need to go across to the next page, which is the advance. You now need to change the graphics quality from high all the way down to very low. Again, use the arrows on your keyboard. Now launch into game and see if that helped. If it did, then slowly increase the graphics quality until you come across the issue you've been facing again and then dial it back down. Also, while you are changing the graphics quality, it is worth turning on display stats to FPS just so you can keep an eye on your FPS in game in the top right hand corner. So once you've done all that and if you're still having issues with the game, you now need to close down the game. Once you have closed down the game, the next thing that you need to do is ensure you don't have any overclock settings applied to your hardware that could be causing the issues with Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. So if you're able to, remove those overclock settings that you have applied to your graphics card and stuff like that and then launch the game again and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing we want to do is verify the game files as one of the game files may have become corrupt or missing. So I will show you how to do this first in the Epic Games launcher. So once you have the launcher open, you need to go to your library, find Tiny Tina's One Lands, click on the three dots, and then click on to verify. This is now going to check all the game files. Once it's finished, go ahead and launch the game, and hopefully that would have resolved the issues you've been facing. If you purchase the game through Steam, then this can easily be done again by simply selecting your library and then right clicking on the game. I'm going to use Battlefield as the example. Go to properties and you now need to go to local files and then verify integrity of game files and it will now check those game files. So again, once it's finished, launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help resolve the issues you're facing with the game, then the next thing to do would be to try launching the game on a different user profile on your Windows computer. And if that doesn't help, then I would suggest you uninstall the game and then install it again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.